So my name is uh, Joachim Köster and the title of the show or the exhibition here is The Other Side of the Sky. It's strangely meaningful and still it's very hard to, to kind of point to what exactly it means. So I guess it shares similarities with Pink Floyd, the dark side of the moon, you know, some, some side that you cannot see, though uh, the sky is probably the, a little bit more uplifting. The whole show is almost like a matrix of stories, stories that interconnect. And, and for me, that's something that uh, I find very interesting. It's almost like a, something that's comparable to a film or a novel with characters, that each work is almost like a character that does something, and then it kind of comes together in the show. I think there's a lot of opportunity to interact with the work in different ways. One way to do it is just to perceive the show as a sort of walk. As, as, and people can, can walk through it and, and walk from one, you know, walk into the shack or around the shack and, and see the turners. To see something in the mind's eye or to visit a special place through imaginary faculties is very, very close to art to some extent. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious about this way of doing art where, where people are in a way transported to places and then they can imagine the space themselves. I started in, in art school as a painter, so, so at that point uh, I was very interested in Turner, as, as most people are when they paint. And then of course it was a great thrill to see his paintings for real. And I, I found this story about him being tied to a mast like really, really intriguing. I think it, it has to do with experience and the fact that he wanted to be tied to a mast in a storm, on a ship in a storm, uh, for me is, is almost like going on a trip. It, it, it's like perceiving something that you normally don't have access to perceive. The artwork I do is really things that I want to see myself. So that's really the, the main inspiration. You know, I get an idea, there's something I want to see, there's something I want to try, and, and that is, is really spurs the inspiration for artworks. Often I'll be interested in a certain field or a certain subject matter, but I'll be um, interested in it with the, with the passion of an amateur which is just being really, really interested. And then at some points, these things that I've been just really into, they also become subjects of artworks. Like a lot of the things I was really interested in when I was 15 years old has turned into artworks later.